Once upon a time, in a faraway land in Delta State, there lived a man who has two beautiful daughters named Eloho and Eguono. Eguono was the daughter of his first wife, Ephemena who died immediately after birthing Eguono because she was still a baby and needed motherly care. Her father Egero married Aghogo to care for her. A year later, Aghogo gave birth to her own daughter, Eloho. In the village, there's a tradition that allows the king to nominate a family his heir to the throne will be marrying into as soon as he is born. In the year he was born, Egero's family was chosen. And after both girls were born, they were treated as the future princesses of the land till the Prince Ogheneavo will choose his bride to be. Both daughters were the pride of their father, and he loved them. Equally, he brought them up to love and always care for each other. But, Aghogo was not a good woman, she never loved Eguono and always maltreated her in the absence of her father. She didn't want Eguono to be in the picture at all, she wanted all the good things for only her daughter. She wanted her daughter to be the future queen of the land. So, she treated Eguono badly whenever her father was not present. She made her feel less of herself. This continued until both girls became ripe for marriage and it was almost time for the prince to make his choice. Akogo knowing it was almost time, decided to put into action her plan of long ago. On this faithful day, she called Eguono and Eloho to follow her to the farm to get firewood to prepare the food for the great day. Both girls happily obliged her. When they got to the farm, Aghogo and her daughter knocked Eguono down with a big stick and left her for death. They rushed home in tears after disguising themselves to make it look like they fought with a wild animal. The community was thrown in disarray. Hunters were sent into the bush to search for Eguono, but she was nowhere to be found. Eguero was heartbroken and regretted not going with them to get the firewood. Since Eloho was the only bride remaining, she automatically had to be the prince's bride. So, when the D-Day finally arrived, the king's palace was crowded to the brim. Akogo was dancing and jubilating, because finally her daughter will become the bona fide queen. When it was time for the prince to come out and meet his wife, the whole village was in shock when they saw the prince come out with Eguono arm to arm. Akogo was speechless while Eloho burst into tears. Egero ran happily to hug his precious daughter. It was there the prince told the story of how he went hunting and met Aghogo and Eloho hitting Eguono to death. After they left thinking she was dead, he went and rescued her and brought her to the palace to await the day he will choose his bride. Egero was so angry after hearing all that his daughter went through. If not for the help of the villagers, he would have strangled Aghogo to death. The king then and there banished Aghogo and her daughter Eloho from the village and made Eguano his son's wife. And they lived happily ever after. The end. Moral lessons. 1. There's punishment for every evil done. 2. Greed can make us become people we're not. 3. At the end of the day, the truth shall come to light no matter how hidden it is. Thanks for watching GDP Storytime. If you enjoyed this story, kindly let me your auntie know, because it encourages me to tell you more. I'm always here to teach you moral lessons. Subscribe to GDP Storytime on YouTube and watch on TikTok. Click the notification bell so you don't miss any new story. Share with your loved ones. Haha, <laughs> just some chuckles. You know I love you. Bye for now.